Thank you. <laughs> I have to say it a lot, otherwise I will never remember it. I think I'll remember it for the rest of my life. Off your roids. Mm. What roidal? I think I learned another word this cruise, but it's gone already, so it's fine. I learned uh, bioturbation. What's that? Holotherian? Yeah, sea cucumber. Sea cucumber? This cruise I learned what a lava tube was. Lava tube. Like, lava for real. Tube. I think I learned every single thing I know about rocks from this cruise. <laughs> Chet asks, during a dive, is Nautilus oriented to optimize movement efficiently or reduce heave slash pitch or a compromise of both? It's a great nav question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Sorry. <laughs> you know, it's fine. <laughs> so, during the dive, we are on DP, dynamic positioning. So, like, we tend to move, like, really slowly. And um, that, um, that's good for us. And again, we have um, Atlanta, which kind of decouple uh, any sh like ship motion that we have on the surface. So, so that Aculis can really go like, you know, easily without all those um, like, you know, motion. So I don't know. I think, Trevor, do you want to add anything to that? Or? That's a good start, yeah. We got the... The ship stays in a position that it can stay in its position. <laughs> uh, it keeps its heading into the wind. If it goes too sideways to the wind, then it can actually get blown off station. So keep the pointy bit pointed towards the blowy bit. <laughs> and uh, that's good for most of the time, doing our slow, steady moves. If we okay. want to do a huge subsea transit, then we would actually change the ship's heading to be the same as our bearing the same as the direction that we're traveling. So if we wanted to go south for f like th three kilometers, then we would turn the ship's heading south probably. Depends on the weather and the steam down finished. there. Roger. Yeah. I put yeah, Rob yeah. Nav up on uh, Sat 3 if you want to talk about the ship position versus the vehicle position. This one on Sat 3, Rob Nav? Yep. Yep. Yeah, so currently we have um, the ship in white and then we can kind of see the it's the heading it's not the same that's not the same heading we are kind of moving like if you look at the two um rovs the one in yellow is um Achilles and the one in pink is um atlanta you can see those are kind of facing the same direction but the ship so we are kind of moving the ship like sideways like you know kind of laterally so it's not just like um, Trevor was saying, that helps with weather, like, you know, spe uh, speed and current and all of those kind of things. So it's really good, th this um, way that we are moving it, so. Can I get some delta down, please? Roger. Delta down. You know, I was wondering why sometimes the pointy part of the little ship picture wasn't facing the way we were, like the, where the waypoints are. Oh, okay. Now it makes sense.
feel like it must be hard to kind of choose a um, like a waypoint path on these seamounts because they're so large. Like there's so many options, and I know you kind of do it strategically with like ridges, and we're trying to hit that saddle. But like, look at all those like points. And then you just think there's a whole other. You know, we're only exploring one little line of seamount. There's a whole. 360 of the cement that we're not looking at, what could be there. And, and then another complication is uh, the sea state and how well the uh, ship could hold position. Mm -hmm. So it's much easier to go in the direction of the prevailing seas and wind Can we zoom here? forward and back yep. as opposed to going crabbing, going sideways. Yeah. So that's probably why we're on this side of the cement and not the other one. Well, the weather is really, really good right now. So okay, we can zoom as far as anything we wanted. Shrimp. Yep. Because we're mostly working on bow yep, thrusters to maintain the d d dynamic positioning. And All right, uh, thank you. You don't want to run them continuously to hold maintain position. Mm -hmm. We also have a jet pump on the back of the vessel. It's 360. Yep. And are we usually trying to get to the highest peak? Because there's a couple peaks. Yeah, not, not always, but I mean, it seems like the biology is almost more, most interesting near the top. Mm -hmm. And if you want to try to characterize the region, that's what you try to do. There's typically a little, little less biology deeper. Can we zoom here, please? What's this thing? Anything? Is that a... Oh, it's a nothing, yeah. Uh, uh, slime. It, it was a something. It was. It is a dead sponge. Now uh. it's just disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes those are very interesting. I'm, and I, uh, I'm sure there's somewhere in, someone in the world that's like, yes, dead sponge. Uh -huh. I know that picking track lines can sometimes be random too. I know I was on a cruise back in 2020 with a different system and we were looking for these special type of worms mm -hmm. or, or something, coral, something, whatever. Uh, coastal British Columbia. Yeah, scientists had all these theories. We tried dive after dive, found nothing, nothing. Eventually the chief side like gave up. It's like, nope, I can't figure it out. Trevor, you pick the next dive. I'm like, oh, this looks neat. It's got a cool cliff. Let's try here. It'll be fun. And that's where all the worms were. Oh, no. <laughs> I, had, I had no idea about biology. There was not an educated guess. It just looked like it would be fun to fly. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, There's going to be papers written about this. Like, oh, cool. All right. <laughs> Great. I just thought the cliffs oh. were cool. <laughs> cool rocks. Cool rocks. <laughs> I hope you're in the acknowledgement. I hope so too. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I can imagine sometimes for statistical purposes, random lines are part of the, the program to study it. Because if you have a bias in where you pick it, you're going to bias your information. Mm. True, yeah. yeah. There's a discussion about that every year on the client we were with on the last, cru uh, last ROV cruise. It's a little floaty in the Atalanta camp. Oh, yeah. Atlanta floaty. Yeah, but what is truly random? I think it's a shrimp. Is it a shrimp? Um. There's a shrimp down on the bottom right of yeah. Herc's cam, centering up now. Maybe it's a small fish, actually. Can this you zoom one? in there, please? Small fish. Baby fish. Uh, Baby very, very yeah. far away. Life. Anatomy, too. Very far away. Would you say it's about 10 centimeters long? I think so. Depends on the green lasers. How, how big are they? All right, thanks. So if the lasers are 10 meters apart. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's 10 millimeters. Oh. And decimeters apart. Chat asked to clarify what Rob said. Are the locations of the waypoint 
and therefore direction of travel decided in conjunction with weather patterns. It's kind of uh, what you said, right? Oftentimes there is. I mean, if you know, right now we don't really have that limitation because the sea state is uh, pretty calm. But uh, earlier dives, we actually had to uh, take that into account when the storms were coming through and it was windier. Yeah, if the worst case, if the ship loses power or something and gets blown, is that going to pull us away from the shallower seamount top or is it going to pull us right into it? That's what we're thinking about. We don't really want to drag the ROVs up the slope. Mm -hmm. Do you guys ever regret the waypoint paths that you pick? Besides today? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I mean, there's always neat stuff to see. Sometimes you just wish you had more time to spend on the seamount or the area. But we're trying to just, you know, do a little recon, look here, look there. I mean, it's, it's, it's all neat, brand new stuff, so no real uh, regrets. Look at this big chunky monkey. Chunky monkey. Yeah. Oh, is that oh. a sponge? Life. Is chunky monkey the word of the day? No. <laughs> there still is another word of the day out there, isn't there? Yeah, and it's yeah. one word. Oh. <laughs> Chunky monkey. Is it sponge? It's not sponge. We've said sponge a lot. Cliff. No, Trevor said cliff. Earlier. No, not cliff. Gorgia. Oh, Annabelle got it again. Oh, oh. nice. His nose. Zoom in on this sponge nose, please. <laughs> and a shrimp. Yeah, we haven't seen squat yet, have we? No. No. What is that little what red dot this? on the sponge? I don't know. I'm trying to get a little more stable, but I'm. I think it's um. It go. could be one of these uh, benthic tinophores, or. I think they saw one on the last dive. Oh, there's. Oh, there's more. a few. There's, There's something in it. Something trapped. Yeah. Um, those are benthic tinophores. They're called the families Etapiella. Thank you, Dave. Um, tinophores usually are uh, jelly, mm -hmm. jelly combs. Yep. <laughs> Oh, shrimp. Are they um, eating the sponge or are they just associating the sponge? I think they are only uh, associated with the sponge. There's these places that are like they don't have a ton of biology, but there's always shrimp. What are they doing there? That's what I want to know. Why Why like, are there shrimp? Why do we find shrimp literally everywhere? Do you want to hear a joke? Sure. <laughs> why can't a Tina for hear anything in the deep ocean? Because the sea is silent? Nice. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> did you think of that yourself, or was that? So say, did you already know that one, or did you just no, figure it out? I just figured it out. Nice. <laughs> For those that don't get it, the, the Tina Four starts with the letter C. It's silent. Mm -hmm. yeah. C-T-E-N-O-P-H-O-R-E. -E. What's this thing? S. Yes, you're correct. Can we zoom on this oh. string? A couple of fishies. What are you? What, what is, is this? this? So I fought it for? Downlight oh, coming on. There you go. Well, it's really close. It is really, really close. Wow. Ooh. Huh. 
All right. Majestic. Goodbye. Unknowable. There's let's a go, fish. Let's up go there. chase this fish. <laughs> let's go bother it. Come back. Oh, it's doing a somersault. Who is you know? Get the head. Hey. Cuskeel? Cuskeel? Its head is big, but not as large it as some the of the same, ones same, we've same. seen. Look at that barbel. Thanks. It's... It's not happy. <laughs> it says it got away. All right, sorry, buddy. Bye. It looks like there's deep tracks in this sediment. Yeah, yeah can, can we look at this, the, the, the innards of these rocks over here? They look yep. a little different. Rock innards. Shrimp. I so like many shrimp. Have we stopped counting? Never. Never. The I'm the, I'm the All keeper right, zoom of the in, shrimp. Please. I'm plus. Yeah, that's still lava. That's still basalt. Okay. All right. So. Thank you. Is there any like shrimp scientists that watch? Big day for the shrimp scientists. The shrimps, uh, mm -hmm. the shrimps we are seeing are probably Nematocarcinus, Acanthophyra, Stylodactylus, or wow. then his. Stylodactylus and some other penates. Mm. We are seeing like there are two main um, groups of shrimps, then uh, Dendobranchiata and Caridea. Those are uh, convergent morphologically, but they don't have nothing to do, so they are not uh, related. Oh, okay. I guess like we were saying, we can find shrimp everywhere, but we can kind of find squat lobsters everywhere too. Yes. So they're just not swimming as freely as the shrimp swim. Mm -hmm. Swim free. We see more shrimp though. Like, imagine if we found as many squats as we did shrimp. I, I'm sure there are so many squats, but they are hiding yeah. under rocks and in crevices and things like that, in dead sponges. Yeah, I mean, someone in the chat was like, what just said, just because we're not seeing any life, there's probably like so much in the sediment and under rocks and everything, which is true, chat. We just like to see big things, too. <laughs> we could do a sediment zoom. Sediment zoom? You want to do a sediment zoom? We can do a sediment yeah. zoom. All right. I'm always in favor of a good sediment zoom. Find a piece of sediment that has a rock in it so Rob could be entertained. No, sediment is rock. Is it? Just I thought it was little bits. shells and dead plankton thingies. All right, do you want to zoom in the dead plankton thingies, please? Oh, wait, mm -hmm. hold on. Why did I do the wrong button? I gotta do this button. There we go. Go ahead, please. Wow. I'm going to actually tip down a bit, just, just above the porch, see what we can see. Tumbleweed. Look at that sediment. Wow. wow. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got? We've got some rocks. You have some ostracots, like the small uh, white dots can be ostracots. Those are small, tiny, tiny crustaceans that lives also in the sediment and in the epidemic habitat. Neat. They are really, really tiny. Wow. All right, well. Thank you. We came, we Bye saw, now. we conquered. <laughs> <laughs> also, when we had the, the cinema cam, like we saw a, a bunch of tiny little things growing.
bless you. There's no escaping allergies. When I stand out next to the vans, too, it makes me sneeze. Hmm. Are you allergic to exploration? Uh, jellyfish. Jellyfish. Oh, jellyfish. Nice. Yeah, I don't understand. Why are you sneezing outside the van? I don't know why, <coughs> but it's when I get get after a while in the back row here, and then. Uh oh, like when you walk outside again? Yeah. Uh, sunlight can make you sneeze. Well, I mean, this is the last night when the going looking at the stars. Mm. Maybe starlight can make you sneeze too. <laughs> <laughs> I just love being places where we can actually see the Milky Way. I've seen it a couple times. Yeah. You know, earlier in the cruise, well, I mean, it was out. Ke Kevin Conrad talks about, because uh, he, he grew up in New York City, he didn't realize there were stars until oh. he went to grad school or college. Oh, yeah. that's a little sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, being in Philly, I don't really get to see any stars either. One of the most magical part mo moments of my life was I was working in a small town in rural BC with uh, a couple other co-op students, and one of the one of the guys I was working with was a student. He was born in Korea, raised in Toronto, and went to school in uh, UBC. Had never been outside a big city before, and now he's in a town of 2,000 people. And we went camping one weekend and looking at the stars. He's like, "Wow, amazing! You can see so many stars." He's like, "If only that." little strip of clouds wasn't there I'm like, what? No, man, that's that's the milky way he's mm -hmm. like no nah, you're kidding i'm like no that, that's what you're seeing man that's the milky way what and mm -hmm. he just like the rest of the night just lay on his back and looked at it just couldn't stop that's really cool. amazing that's adorable yeah, where, really where were cool. you trevor that was uh was camping about an hour outside of roslyn bc yeah i know roslyn chat said after all, starlight is just another sun's sunshine. That is true. Technically. I've been in places know? in uh, in interior Alaska uh, where it's just dark and there's no light pollution for hundreds of miles. Same, same, same. Mm -hmm. And you can see all the stars. Thank you. And, uh, and then northern lights. I would love oh. to see the northern lights. That would be yeah. cool. It's very cool. Very, very cool. I've seen some of the Sometimes it's very faint, and you can't really make it out. It's just kind of a little green shimmer in the in the distance, kind of thing. And other times it's huge curtains that are pink, amazing, and orange, and green, and they snap. They they all of a sudden snap and change. Uh, That's whoa. Change uh, shape that. and uh, that kind of stuff. It's wild. I'd love to see that. Yeah, but you know, usually when that happens, it's somewhere between 20 and 50 below outside. <laughs> I don't care. And yeah, I know. <laughs> I, 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 I just about frozen to death standing outside. Yeah. To watch and then stars uh, as well. You can see all the stars. It's amazing. Chat asks, are there any telescopes on board to look at stars? Not that I, I don't think so. That'd be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. Although Are it's like that? super rocky, so yeah, you really motion be able of the focus ship. on anything. Yeah. Anemone. Hard enough to use binoculars. Anemone. Can yeah, we zoom in on this, please? I'm surprised we haven't seen any Holothurians really here either. Chat wants to know if we were to have one of the deep sea creatures as a pet, what would you have as a pet? This one. <laughs> <laughs> Giant squid. <laughs> She's yeah. a giant squid. Yeah, if I also had enough money for a pressurized aquarium. <laughs> a large pressurized aquarium. <laughs> a full facility. They, they did say in that comment, either a large fantasy version that is like a dog size that could walk on land or a normal one. Ooh. <laughs> what would be most useful? 
Pomeranian fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm thinking chana cops. Or, I was gonna say a chana cops. Or maybe like too. one of those pygmy squids. A Dumbo octopus. I was gonna say an octopus for sure, because yeah. it'd be such a ra little rascal, you'd have to <laughs> have to manage it and befriend it. <laughs> I think it'd be like a, a high energy Australian shepherd or something. Yeah, you gotta keep it entertained, otherwise it starts disassembling your kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds too high maintenance. I'd be great. I would love that. <laughs> Again, assuming the fantasy world where I can walk on land like a dog. <laughs> I could talk? No, oh. walk around oh, like, like a, a dog. dog. <laughs> I was going to say I could talk, too. Talk, a talktopus? No, I don't think so. Come on, Trevor, let's go. Let's, what do you want to do? Come on, Trevor, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming for your with, kitchen. <laughs> with, 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 with all four legs. <laughs> or all eight legs. <laughs> Four legs, the quadrupus. Yeah. <laughs> in actuality, I think I'd do coral or sponges because in Less real life, I'm more of a plant person. <laughs> low, low maintenance. Yeah. <laughs> Someone said a giant isopod. That'd be cute. Oh, oh. a bathynomuse. I love it. What about a sea pig? Adorable. But yeah, that'd be cute too. <laughs> Although I don't like that you could see their insides. <laughs> <laughs> you grossed out by your own the vet visits would be easy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How's this thing doing? Oh, I can see everything. We're all good. Yeah, like what if it eats your shoe? You'll know. You'll know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> no innocent little look. Like, it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. Then I see through that. you. I see through your lies. What about the sorcerer eel? Oh, I, I love it really well. That's too snake-like. I you don't like snakes. snakes? Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not, a, I don't not like them, but. Snakes are cute. Sea spider. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not coming to your house then. Yeah, we're going by waypoint four right now. We're making really good time. Yes, yeah, so I was just thinking, do we want to make, um, we want to go a bit, not before coming to waypoint five, or we are just going straight ahead? I'm fine either way. I'm yeah, fine because ahead. yeah, that's this. Uh, we're discussing that during the when we we're planning the dive yesterday. So yeah. I don't know what the science wants to do. So do mm -hmm. we want to go a bit? You know, can you see my mouse somewhere here before coming back, or we are just going straight? Where? What do you think, Rob? Where we can find more more light? I don't think you're gonna find anything until you get over the hump over the saddle. Okay, so we should just keep going to five. Yeah. Okay. We can speed up a bit if you'd like. Okay. Over the saddle. Yeah, we just do, we do point three. Yeah, is that okay with you? Yep. Okay. okay. We'll cool. just do that for the next move. We'll call in and just increase in speed. Yeah, sure. And the minute we speed up, it's going to be like corals and lobsters Absolutely, and Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Shipwrecks and caves and everything. <laughs> <Whale> oh my. <laughs> the the alcohol spot. Yeah. Someone manganese encrusted shipwreck. <laughs> Someone in the chat mentioned gulper eels. I would love to see a gulper eel. Oh, yeah. They're like deep sea pelicans, kind of. Yeah. I was there for that. That was, that I was me and. Me and uh, I'm jealous. What's his name? Super Chatter Jason wants a sea spider tattoo on the back of his neck. Sea spider are really cool. Mm. Debatable. Uh. Creepy is the word you're searching for. Yeah. Majestic. <laughs> what about acorn worm? I don't like acorn worms. They, they're a little bit too gelatinous. <laughs> <laughs> they look would, slimy too. It would be like a Roomba. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't a, wouldn't a sea pig or a cucumber be like a Roomba, too? Oh, that's too? true, yeah. <laughs> I think a Cutest sea pig Roomba. would be a cuter Roomba. It would be a cuter Roomba, yeah. yeah. You could name it Roomba. Let's deconstruct it. Roomba. That's very Roomba cute. Roomba is a good Holothorian name. It is. Sorry, generic robot vacuum. <laughs> but but how do you uh, house train it? Mm. To not poop out all the... I don't know. 
are they dogs on the inside, but the deep sea animal on the outside, so it's easy to outstrain them? I don't know. We need to find like the Caesar Milan or whatever his name is of deep sea critters. <laughs> the cucumber whisperer. That would be a funny animation on tube you. <laughs> Generic <laughs> internet <laughs> video streaming platform. <laughs> We should make a compilation of all the times we've tried not to say brand names. <laughs> just <laughs> stitch them together. <laughs> I like just mixing up the front and back part of it. Two of you. Yeah, that's pretty good. My favorite was T Bell. T Bell. Yeah. T Bell. Golden M. I think, yeah, I think we're really onto something with Two View. Can we do five zero meters bearing zero nine zero degrees speed point three knots? Wait, aren't we actively streaming on said internet point three, video? Point three. We are. Yes. Oh. Thank you. You can watch us on Tube U <laughs> <laughs> or you can watch us on Nautiluslive.org. <laughs> Do you know about jumping spiders? They're so cute. Yes, chat. I would like to have one as a pet soon, but I need to save up like, you know, a hundred bucks to set up their little container and to buy one. That's a nice Thank collection you. of pillows and lava tubes and Bleach nuggets. Now. All said point three knot, point three knot speed. Yeah, bearing is still is zero nine zero. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Chat's like, you can say YouTube. <laughs> we don't want to. Well, we are a participant in YouTube. Yeah, I, we are actively so, YouTubing. Yeah, yeah, but it's funner to say to view. To view. Funner? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> More funner. We have to entertain the people somehow. Are you not entertained? How many flavors of Pop Tart have you guys oh. tried? <laughs> <laughs> Pop Tarts. Oh, we're, we're digging deep uh, in the tart barrel pops. here. Tart Pops. Tart Pops. Toaster Strudels. <laughs> All I know is that in the States they have a ton of flavors. Do they really? Have. Yeah. yeah. We have s'mores, strawberry, and like one other, and they've got like 20 flavors. Yeah, what? and sometimes there's Blueberry. special flavors. I yeah. like the double chocolate one or the s'mores. Wow. Avoid the mint chocolate chip one. Yeah, like the plague. <laughs> I think there was a mint chocolate chip one at one point. <laughs> Terrible. Let me look up how many flavors of Pop Tarts are there. I'm not interested in Toaster anything that mixes mint pastry. and chocolate. Toaster pastry. I think there are things called toaster pastries that are Pop Tarts that aren't. Oh, that those are those are the generic. Yeah. The real generic Toaster ones. Toaster strudel. <laughs> Toaster strudel. Is that what a strudel is? No. We don't That's what want they to call offend. a strudel. <laughs> what is a strudel? I have no idea. A strudel is um. A it's like a popover, but with with holes in it. Yeah. Yeah. There's over 20 flavors of pop tarts. Wow. Right. I knew it. <laughs> and I did not know it. We're not privy to such luxurious. Oh, the brown sugar strudels. cinnamon's good. When I was living in Florida, I spent a lot of time standing in grocery stores just staring at all the flavors, <laughs> all the flavors and colors. <laughs> just trying to find all dressed chips and yeah. strike it out. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the fruit flavors. There's like cherry, there's grape, there's boy troidal. <laughs> <laughs> Grape. I think that's what happens when you burn it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the end, they partner with cereals, so there's like Apple Jacks flavor. The iron manganese encrusted <laughs> toaster pastry. Frosted Squishy. banana bread. Yeah. 
There's red, white, and blueberry pop tarts. Oh goodness gracious! <laughs> you hear an eagle screech as soon as you bite into it. <laughs> <laughs> Eggo frosted maple. Yeah. You guys don't have Eggo frosted maple? No. In Canada, we have strawberry. <laughs> we and have apparently s'mores, which s'more. I just learned about. I only thought there was Snickerdoodle. one. And we have chocolate, I think. Oh, the hot fudge sundae one is a favorite of mine. Yeah, strawberry is a favorite of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is the strawberry one that you guys have, is it the frosted one? Yeah, it's okay. the pink frosting. That's cherry. No. Oh, it's pinky, oh, white, pinky white. Pinky white, yeah. Oh, okay. There's raspberry, too. The wild berry has the purple frosting. Okay, can you hit the button, please? <laughs> <laughs> Good gravy. Are we being muted? No. Get this no. ship moving. We're just keep keeping the ship moving, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah. Flavors of twenty flavors of Pop Tarts. Huh. Who Try, knew? I'm trying to think of the last time I ate a Pop Tart, I cannot come up with it. I don't I, think I've ever eaten one. I don't. I eat them camping. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good camping food. So is ramen. Ramen is divine. Camping. You know what? That's a really good idea. It really. I've never done that. Yeah. Oh, I have one either. Last time I even brought pork belly. It's brilliant. I always do. Do what? Carry pork belly. Camping? On me. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> he has it right now. Pocket pork belly. You um, never know I when you're going to need to slap it on the grill. <laughs> I love instant mashed potatoes. I'm a huge fan of instant mashed potatoes. Camping? Yeah. Camping and not camping. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Something about like the art of, like, I, don't, I know they're not artificial. Right? But something about like the fake flavor really. Really? That's what, yeah. <laughs> Bui, you know? That pork belly know. comment remained, reminded me of uh, trying to think of the weirdest snacks I've seen people bring into the control van. And the weirdest I've got was pocket Bui, broccoli. You know? Pocket broccoli? Wow. It wasn't me. <laughs> it was the same, same, same. <laughs> wow. You remember Thanks. those giant <laughs> kales that we had at dinner a while ago? Mm -hmm. Someone brought one of those in the control van. Someone did? No, what if? What, what if? What if? if someone just started munching on kale like it's a like rabbit a giant in the control kale. van? So is the rule that we're allowed to eat in here as long as it's not crunchy or oily? Just don't make a mess, I just think. Just don't make a rule. mess. Okay. The only thing I ate in here so far is Cheez-Its. Oh, that's, that's pushing it. But. <laughs> They were in my pocket. Oh, I was going to say, if you, <laughs> you're very careful for the fallout. But you will all be requested to come and help clean up the van. I was at told, At the yeah. end of the leg. On our cruise back into port, we'll be up here, wipe down all the surfaces, clean up the floor. So some of your sins will come back to, <laughs> to haunt you. The worst are gummies. They get smashed onto the floor or... You yeah. had gummies in the control van. But they're not I'm crumbly, not so they, they meet crumbly, the rule. So they do meet the rule. As long as you drop them and pick yep. them up immediately, you're good. And eat them. Yep. And eat them immediately. Helps yeah, clean right. the floor, too. Yeah. You just yell out five-second rule and pop it in your mouth. Yeah, there's no five-second rule on this ship. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> in, the old, in the old vans, which we replaced, they were going on three years in these vans. Now, the other vans had been on the ship. Oh, 10 or a dozen years, something like that. And uh, when we took them apart, we found petrified candy of oh. every description. It was really gross. Well, that was a wild ride. Yeah. It was a fun demo, though. It was a lot of rip and strip, yeah. cut and pull. Yeah, <laughs> uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of cathartic, uh, you know, sort of physical exertion. It's I've like always hated I this always thing. hated it. Yes, yeah. exactly right. Oh, I love that. Yeah. yeah. The I old KVM cables that were, you know, 
the huge ones. Yeah, those the big were ones. huge. Those yeah. were handmade, eh? Yeah. Ten I saw a picture of ten like centimeters across. Yeah. Oh. I saw an older <laughs> picture of the van and it looked cramped. It was. It was. Uh, it was two vans, uh, so just the size of this, but laid out differently and. Um, and no studio in there. The yeah. Studio was elsewhere. It was probably very nice for the time when it was made. For was the well, it had. was actually well done uh, yeah. when it was first done, and then uh, had spun out of control. Mm -hmm. Now we have this beautiful van. Yeah, this is pretty very nice, nice van. Challenge to know if anyone's ever brought hard-boiled eggs into I the van. I think I've seen it. Mm, probably. I would. I haven't had a hard-boiled egg on this cruise because I don't like eating them whole. Like, they need to be sliced thin. I was going to say, you can chew you them. Can. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't like taking a chomp out of a full egg. I see, yeah, that makes sense. We have knives. Picture yeah, you but swallowing it like a pill. I like, like, <laughs> I like them. <laughs> <laughs> I like when they're, like, sliced with the egg slicer in very particular. We have sharp knives. Yeah, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> Although now we got an uh, I didn't eat breakfast, so a hard-boiled egg sounded real Another nice right now. Another activity day. What's over here? Oh no, it's sand. I'm sorry, I've heard everything. Should have looked at the squishy. You were up early this morning, stuff. Yeah, I had to do a interaction that I didn't actually have to do, and oh. then I actually had to do an interaction with Elias, and he did great. Nice. Who did you talk to? Um, there is actually sure. another SCF that's coming on the next cruise, I believe, and she's a teacher, so her class. Oh, cool. She's had a she has a couple going on today. What grade? All her different classes. I don't know. I thought she teached middle school, but then I think this was high school. Hmm. I don't know. Where's the school located? What North state? North Carolina. Oh, cool. We have a chat fact. The craziest fact is that the eagle screech we hear isn't even from a bald eagle. It's from a red-tailed hawk. I knew that one. Yeah. Eagles don't sound fierce enough. They're very yeah. squeaky. They're squeaky, yeah. Yeah. I think you should choose the true call. Mm -hmm. Use the true thing. No. Why alter? Because it's it needs to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, bald eagles aren't even all that great. Um, Benjamin Franklin wanted the uh, national bird to be a turkey. He it was makes really a little more for sense. turkeys, yeah. Thomas Jefferson wanted it to be the dove. That's nice. Really? Mm hmm Here's a here's a van question. If you could change your national animal, I guess, for Canadians, moose. Is there is there a Canadian national animal? Canadian geese. Is it? It's not a geese. National is it? bird. Or geese. loon. I don't know what a national animal is in Canada. The I'll loon, right? It's on the it's on the, the coins. Loon? The, the loon is for Ontario, I think. Yeah. I don't know. That's Ontario's bird. Uh, it's a beaver. Beaver. Is it a beaver? Yeah. I would change it to a moose. <coughs> Beaver's cool. That makes more sense. How about a muskox? Mm, I've never like seen one with my own eyes. <laughs> A bunch of like states in New York, uh, state animals a beaver. So, or not, not in New York, just in the states is a beaver. So, go beads. Go beads. <laughs> <laughs> Oregon. Yeah. No. Let's do five zero meters, bearing zero nine two degrees, speed point three knots. Alathorian. <laughs> what? Oh. We got a cucumber. Is that one nine two degrees? We got r we got a um, robot vacuum. Point Generic. three knots. Zoom in, please. Yeah, thank you. Ooh, look at that Finally. cucumber. Umba ray. Well, I didn't realize Oregon State animal is a beaver too. Yep. Yep. Go beeves. That's Oregon why I always say York. go beeves. Yeah. Well, I mean, I thought it was the for yeah. Oregon State, this put you know the school, yeah, but not the state of Oregon. <laughs> oh yeah, well, a little wrinkly. All right, thank you. Come wide. 
We just don't talk about the ducks. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> so what does that mean? You said that twice now, and I don't get it. Uh, the ducks. University of Oregon. University of Oregon's mascot. University of Oregon is different than Oregon University? Yeah, like how there's like a University of Washington and then a Washington State University. Goodness gracious, okay. Is that is that not a thing in Canada? They have like a there are many states. Two, no. two <laughs> universities per province or, or like two university systems per province? We, we have, have no university systems. We just have different universities. Yeah. Oh. So there's not like a UBC and then no, a BC isn't. Provincial University or something? No. UBC, actually UBC has a satellite campus in, uh, I believe, Kelowna. Oh. And then there's uh, University of Victoria, there's University of other places that I can't remember. Yeah, I, I, had a student, Roads. I had a student from Western. Oh, that's near where Ooh. I went to school yeah. in Ontario. I almost went to Western, actually. Yeah. But their biology program wasn't as good. Wait, is yeah. it in Ontario? Western yeah. University is in Ontario. Why is it called Western? It's in the it's east. Because it's in Western Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. Anything west of Toronto is Western. <laughs> then you have Queen's College, Dalhousie. Yeah. yeah. There was an art school I was thinking about, I think, in Montreal. OCAD is in Toronto. The Ontario OCAD University? That's the great fish. art university. Fish. Oh, the one I was thinking about was in Montreal. Please? I don't remember what it was called. I never, like... Bye-bye. Oh, Bye-bye. Montreal has Laval. It's not really Montreal, but... Did you say McGill? Yeah. Oh, McGill, yeah. 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 McGill is a good science school as well. Well, good everything school, really. But in Oregon, the big in-state rivalry is between Oregon State and University of Oregon. No, University of Oregon's private, isn't it? No. No, it's a public university. Oh, okay, I didn't both know are, that. Both are public universities. So they're the hated Oregon Ducks. <laughs> Doesn't UW also have a rivalry with the Ducks? Uh, yeah. I feel like everyone has a rivalry with the Ducks. Yeah, nobody likes the Ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Except the Ducks. Lots of people in Eugene like the Ducks. We got one coral there, and we got a sponge coming up, too. Yeah, we are starting to see corals. Are we in the saddle yet? We're getting close. Almost. Oh, close. Saddle up, everybody. Yeehaw. Oh, God. Oh, the the one of those. Cheese moon, another bolosoma. What if I just panned left and ignored it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to zoom in on Atalanta. Would he do it? No. No. It's a little one. The, little cheese. The stock makes me uncomfortable. <clears throat> Highlighter yellow. Really? Yeah. Highlighter, Highlighter yellow. yellow. It has more. You can zoom if you'd like, whatever you want. Benthic tinophores. Ooh. My boyfriend sent me a text that said no one likes the, the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool seeing right through the little holes in the top there. Yeah. Yeah. Where is he from, Steph? Philadelphia. Oh, okay. Well, how does he? Wow. They don't like the ducks as far as Philadelphia. Yeah. Uh, I'm all right with that. I, I can come wide, please. <laughs> but and ironically, Delta, my please. boyfriend loves oh, you are, ducks. You are. Huh. Okay. Just not the ducks. <clears throat> I like Peking duck. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm. Getting kind of hungry up here. <laughs> I would love, I could go for some there Peking is, duck. Is there anything here, or is it just Let's my imagination? Out. Zoom in on, uh, on uh, Paula's imagination. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. 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 <laughs> no. It's Invisible lobster. Well, there's sediment. Sediment. Oh, good, yeah. a rock. <laughs> Thank you. This dive has been so squat lobster dry, Paula's seeing them. Mm -hmm. what, what what did you want to call this mountain, this dive? Uh, a, a squat pen. Yeah. Squat pen. Squat panda? Sorry? A squat pen. pen from squat lobster and sea pen. Uh. But it turned out no pen, no sea pens and no squat <laughs> I told Not you you were going to jinx it. Maybe when we get over the hump. Maybe. In, into the saddle. 
would that no. um, Scoopy thing be a landslide? Uh, the pool base of same, same. Yeah. I think that's where we're, we may try to get into. We're making good time. Thanks. We may be able to get into it a little bit. What about Cheese Moon Tina Four Town Mountain? <laughs> Whoa. I don't think this mountain has a name yet. I'd call it Nodule Mountain. Oh, oh Nodule Town Mountain. Nugget, Seconded. Nugget Precipice. Nugget, Nugget Hill. Peak. Nugget Peak. Nugget nose. Oh. oh. We got a little something in the Atalanta cam up there. I don't know if it's a sponge or what. Yeah, it's like, like is it the tether? Uh, oh, it's the tether. Oh, yeah, I can zoom too. Too. on that no one. What if earlier I had said a squishy nose? <laughs> That'd be a double whammy? Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, Zoom in, please. What? Looks like a what context would the phrase a squishy Sponges, nose? I believe. When Dave was talking about his clown. Oh, yeah, there oh, we go. Yeah. What's on the left there? I was thinking of Rob sneezing. Can you zoom in on this tunicate, please? I'm saying it's tunicate, not knowing. But. Oh, it is a squishy. Ooh, what is that? Squishy. There's a squishy, if I've ever seen one. There's a squishy. Yeah. I'd guess a tunicate. There is something inside, right? Yeah. Uh, we should get this. Come wide, please. Coming up on Delta a bit. Sure. We haven't sampled in forever. Are we slurping? Yep. Yep. Uh, okay, we gotta be fast on this one. So. Ugh. How am I gonna get this without smashing that camera up? Mm. Put the hey. rock on the porch is how I'll do it. Look nice. at that. That's definitely was not on purpose, but I'm gonna run with it. Ah, come on, don't do that. Do oh, that. I'm gonna start setting up for slurp. Thank you. <coughs> Any jar you like, Annabelle. So before slurping, okay. can we have a very nice zoom? Yeah, sure. I'll get the arm out, whoop, and then I'll get it close. Are, do we have anything in the jars right now? Nothing. Nothing. That's oh, why I put nothing. Any. <laughs> Hello, jars? Okay, no suction right now. We're gonna do some zoomage first. Uh, it's okay. Okay, I'm go ahead, slow Dave. Wrestling with the jar hydraulics right now. Roger that. Okay, they seem to be working. All right, Damn. jar number one. Yeah. Thank you. Let me know when you're ready to start slurping there, Science. Yeah, ready. Okay, go ahead. Uh, let's try 40%. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be in pieces, I think. Okay. All right, come wide, please. Good. Good. Gotta go. There it goes. Ready to zero the section? Yeah, I think so. Is it in there? I think it's in yeah, there. Yeah, I saw it go in. Mm, okay. Uh, right, thank you so much. All right. Went the wrong way. Yeah, and when you're all cut up, like maybe top of the hour, get another rock sample. Roger, the old gauge check rock, eh? Yep. <coughs> Is it alright if I flush tunic? Yeah, I just you can come up on Delta too, Okay, Roger. Alright, I think it's pretty flush now. Roger that. Turning off the There was a squishy. Yeah. Jolly.
chat says thanks for these streams. Besides being educational, it also feels like I'm working alongside a bunch of friends. Nice. Aww. Aww. Friends. Go get me a beer. <laughs> 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 Throw it into the sea. It'll make its way to us. <laughs> I'm sure Amazon can deliver. <laughs> All right, you want to grab this rock? <laughs> <laughs> it's got some scrapes on it. Something has tried. You want to do rock grab? Yeah, if you could see something when here. When we're here, when we're here. Uh, do you want more delta? Uh, I can do that if you're doing that. Oh, OK. Um, yeah, There's I can get same, same. bubble and craft, yeah, it get it like out in front, and then we can land Something may be up there that's gettable, or even down here if you still have Good. time. Get her out in front? Yeah, we'll get the arm out in front, and then uh, we'll zoom in on oh, that specific cable. And really then we'll awesome. Out. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, Once the arm's out, we'll, we'll stop and we'll reassess. So no no stress on getting this rock or another rock. Yeah. We'll There's moving no on. hurry. This rock in particular. Yeah. Uh, did the jaws pop open again? Yeah. They always pop open when you start the arm, unless you do the special trick, which I haven't taught you. Thank you. You're welcome. Will you eventually teach me? Sure. It's really easy. I just haven't done it. Oh, okay. It's... Yeah, that's that's fine. You can bring it in a little bit closer. Just keep it in the Zeus. Bringing her in. Yeah, get there. Then I'll stretch out a little bit, and then we'll see what we can find. Should I close the jaws? I'm going to close the jaws. Sure, that's great. All right, Rob, we're getting into a great spot now. Okay. So whenever you see something, just yell at the top of your lungs. <laughs> or quietly or whatever. Yeah, I'm looking. I don't want to bonk anything. What about that yeah, one? Yeah, well, right in here someplace. Yeah, roger that. But, but I want uh, I want Annabelle to, to grab one of the rocks that I know isn't going to move. Okay. Just so she knows the feel. All right. And I think that one, I don't know, that could or could not be. Yeah, that one may or may not that be. That smack in the middle one? Yeah. With something on it? No, no, I mean, just to, to see if it's going to move or not. It's yeah, pretty Roger. round. I don't know. Okay, go for it. Should All be right. good. Here we go. Oh. I need to unlock the jaw. That That would also be helpful. There we go. Another thing you can do to see if there's uh, welded is with the jaws closed, you can use the little through fingertips to scoop away and like see if you can wedge the finger in behind and pry at it. A little eh, eh. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> You're it's, yeah, it's not moving. <laughs> hey, is this one too big over here? You don't suppose that one could be welded too, but it's oh, a, it's a little wait. freer. I need to do the wrist wrist maneuver. <coughs> there we go. Get get in there. Eh. Yeah, we may have to find a talus pile. This may not be the best. These sheet flows. Let's see if I can really get in for it. Eh. It no. is wiggly. Ooh, it started to move. Yeah, we can oh, wait, keep going Let's if you wiggle want. it out. Let's wiggle it out. Good Ooh. job. Nice. nice. Very good. Back Let me readjust here. Oh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Juggling is not part of the deal here. <laughs> yet. I like it. Does it work? Give us a oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I thought I locked it. Oh, we lost it a long time ago. It's on the porch. What? Let me uh, get it away from the camera before you go for that crab. Stand by. Oh, she's going for it anyway. <laughs> well, it's, it's gone for. Um, Can we get a nice little spin? Oh my gosh. Actually lock the jaw this time, please. Okay, good, good. Thank you. Uh, about 15 centimeters or so. Oh, this is a nice rock. Yeah, it's good. Like barely hanging on to it. <laughs> It's fine. This is fine. Okay. Then let's go for Echo or Foxtrot, please. Dave, can you zoom in on Atalanta, 
please. Can we get the uh, sample salvo? It would be nice to see the sample that will be any 153, 153. <laughs> Very nice. satisfying. Yeah. When you're ready there, Soon. Annabelle. Was that yeah, so much, yeah. We're almost there. But it might not be our, our shift. Yeah. What is this? Okay, uh, I think I'm ready. Yeah. There's a swimmy. I don't know if this is going to fit in one of the small ones. Might have to go in the big one. Let's find out. Why don't you try to put it on Charlie? That's our close one here, isn't it? That's the, oh. this one. C. That's open, correct? C is not open. C is not open. Don't put it in C. It's only A or E or F. I suggested E or F. Yeah, okay. And here we go. We're moving with the you like it or not. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to drop her in. Sure. Yay! Yay. Nice one. You drop it in so perfectly. Good job. Thank you. We're going to swap Panos into video here for just a bit. That was okay. over okay. 150. 150? No, I lied. 146. 146. <laughs> Wait, I had already locked it. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Rob, look at the chat. They're sending Wait, you beers. No. Oh, <laughs> same, same, yeah. same. Appreciate the beer. I got a chat, a beer chat, mm -hmm. <laughs> or a chat beer. A chat beer. I know it's before noon here, but that's okay. <laughs> we it's are zoomed in somewhere. on Atlanta. That's not just close. Okay, I, yeah, there is a moment. <laughs> Yeah, I had it too, even though I was the one that asked for the zoom. <laughs> Pretty cool zoom. That's a good shot, too, on yeah. Atlanta. <coughs> All right, craft is secured. Wonderful. Nice job. Thank you. I'm learning. <laughs> Go down to Wrong the porch. One. So how many samples have you? Done now, Annabelle. Are you counting? Uh, I'm not counting. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe this is number four. Sure four? Right. Yeah, I think so. Oh. Uh, maybe an important part of that whole process, Annabelle, was your appeasing the scientist's need for a certain rock that you know you're not going to be able to get. <laughs> we want this one. That's going to be well done. Well, can you try anyway? Mm -hmm. sure. Is that an important part of my yes, journey as an ROV pilot? Yeah. <laughs> I'll do what you ask, even when it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it was helpful and educational to try and pick up one that was welded. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cause yeah, it, you can tell. I will say it was really fun digging that one up. That was that That's, was very satisfying. It's fun, isn't it? It finally comes free. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like grab it and like shake it around a little bit. What? What? Are are we doing a wrap or? What? What's the question? Oh, never mind. Oh, never, never mind. I'm I'm turned around. <laughs> Not minding. <laughs> You're fine. I'm turned around. The hardest part about, the hardest skill to learn with the arm is keeping situational awareness while you're using it. It's really, really hard. Roger. Like, imagine halting mid-sample and me asking you, what's your heading? Oh. <laughs> That's a number probably between 1 and 360. I don't know. <clears throat> Isn't that every single? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, it certainly takes a lot of concentration to, like, so totally, yeah. move it. You would say slurping is easier? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> is that I a coral? Because then you have to worry coral? about the hose, coral, too. Yeah. Yeah, I think rocks are the easiest sample. Um, 
but it's great practice. It's a great way to learn. It's definitely the first the first thing to sample is a rock for sure. And they, there's still tricky aspects to them, but. Uh, With the crinoid, it's so yeah. beautiful crinoid. The niskin was pretty tricky. Niskins are tricky, yeah. At least if you screw up the rock, you don't kill an animal. Yeah. You know, or scratch the Zeus or whatever. So it's a little lower consequence. Have you you've tried to slurp on, but the animal wasn't behaving? Is that right? Yes. Is that what happened? Uh, yeah, I, I slurped the lobster, but the lobster like hung on to the coral and like it. Yeah. Did it get up in the jar? Yeah, and because you ended up snipping it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, but oh, I sucked right. like all the way down the coral, and that's it just right. did not want to move. You. It was a success, except for a technicality. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been a success, but yeah. animals. <laughs> animals. Yeah. Um, Chat wants to know what we mean when we say welded rock. Welded? Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, well, what happens is, uh, I and mean, they could be a loose rock initially, but over time with the manganese and crustacean, they kind of get welded together and they're very difficult to move. The previous one was actually probably part of a lava flow, mm -hmm. and so it was probably connected more than I thought it may have been, even though there might be a little crack. All right, uh, Elias, mm -hmm. I'm gonna sit here for 30 seconds. Can I have a reset, please? Sure. What's a reset? DVL reset. I'll have Elias walk you through that once he's finished here. It seems to be here. Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> Is it okay to go for it? Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Thank you. Yeah, of course. What's yes. Deep? What is it? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I think I was. Oh, let's put a ship move in first. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah. I'm coming, Steph. Yep. Do it now. Time. Let's do same, same, same. Thanks. Can you find me in Atlanta, please? Hmm? Yeah, so me? what the um, oh, yeah, DBL right we said Thanks. is the way we are kind of positioning the algovies, like we have um, a USBL beacon on them, like we have a transporter on them, so that kind of communicates with the transceiver we have on board the vessel. So we are kind of using like two systems to position them. The DVL is kind of measuring the speed, like um, the, the speed in, in water, like, you know, the vehicle speed in water. And then um, the USBL itself, too, is also positioning the, the vehicle in water. But so we have like two systems, but they are good at some point. One is good at some point, one is bad. So we kind of use the two of them like together. So when the DVL is not, for instance, maybe is not um, tracking the bottom, like in, you know, we have like maybe three beams, that is not so good. And sometimes it also drifts over time. So we need to kind of use the USBL to reposition it because that is good when you are kind of stable. Once you are moving, the USBL is not so good. So we can, that's what uh, we do during that period is travel kind of stays in the position we have some eats like you know very good position from the usbl then we use that to reset the dvl and then um, that keeps going until it's kind of decreased again before we do another reset do you want to go really zoomed in so steph yeah. does that make sense yeah that's cool yeah thank you for that explanation of course with the hydroids wow and what are those little, see quite a lot there. little fuzzies on the stock? On the stock? They're smaller fuzzies. Just slightly farther focus. What is that? Yeah, yeah. Those, those little fuzzies. Like like those things. Are those a lot smaller hydrozoans? Yeah. And oh, that's those, cool. This is another hydrozoan. Yeah. I saw those, but I was just wondering cool. the little ones were. Those are cool. Okay, thank you. Come cool. on. Hydrozoans the same as hydroids? Yes. <coughs> just two different names. 
Well, the scientific name is Hydrozoa, and we use hydrates for the common name. Oh, okay, thank you. And we are about 200 meters away from the from waypoint five. Waypoint five. Yeah, it seems uh, we'll be able to make it. You think so? Yeah, we'll see. All yeah. right. Um, Chai wants to know why is there so much manganese concentrating down there? Studying for his test. Can we zoom the why coral, are you at me? please? I'm not answering that. Oh, I thought you were by now. Uh, something this about just to check if minerals. it's the, the first. Yep. Yeah, go ahead, zoom, noise. please. What is? Oop. Looks like a bamboo. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So I believe the it's like the the minerals come from the eruptions or the, check. the vents and everything, okay. and they kind of just settle. That's that's good. I mean, there is dissolved manganese and other uh, metals in, in the water column, and most of the times, a large portion of them do come from hydrothermal vents originally, mm -hmm. and then get distributed about the the ocean, and some come from uh, rivers on land too oh. that kind of pour the minerals into the water as well and then the manganese uh, for some reason it starts to accumulate on some of these these rocks and sponges starts coating them some think it's just a natural precipitation process due to a slight charge on the rocks What's this? and others you know potentially there is a uh, microbial Zoom aided in, process too small black coral Oh, yeah. There Beautiful. it is. Is that a bathy bathy? Umbelula? Umbelula bathies, maybe. We have collected so, uh, another another one like this. Great, okay. Thank you, come on. Beautiful. Um, question about the fly traps. Are they found on sponge stocks because of limited food? Are they anchored? Are they found anchored to directly to rocks in food rich regions? Why do they seem to like those dead sponge stocks? Do it now. Maybe it gets them high enough in the water column to catch more things. Let's do yeah. same, same, same. That's what I was thinking. Thanks. Because we haven't seen any really attached to the bottom of stocks, only on the top. They like the altitude. Yeah, I don't think we've seen one attached to a rock, have we? No. No. We're at 2,564 meters in depth for anyone who's interested. Thanks. And we started the dive at about 3,000 meters. slowly ascending up the side of unnamed seamount site 11. To a depth of, anyone want to chime in? The surface. The surface, I mean technically, yeah. We're, the peak Ideally. is about 2,100 meters. Yeah, that's yep. correct. And we're approaching waypoint five. There are seven waypoints in total, so we're making very good time on this dive. What time are we going to come up? I Get guess this was finished? supposed to be a 20 hour dive, so I would assume at the end of our, uh, at midnight, I think is the, the tentative schedule. Schedule? It's my British schedule. Schedule. Yeah. The bio we've seen has been sparse, but there's been some things. Mm -hmm. Seen black coral, bamboo coral, a lot of glass sponges, Polysoma, Calafacus. Shrimp. 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 There was a Dumbo in the Atalanticam. Yeah. Some um, holothurians. as well. Cuskill. Um, what have we sampled so far? I feel like we haven't sampled much. Uh, I Rocks. can tell you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much right. S squishy thing, squishy thing. <laughs> we have rock. Tunicate. 
We have a tuna kit, we have one niskin, and we have small rock nodules. So the only <laughs> bio other than the t the niskin eDNA was the tuna kit. Yep. Wow. That'd be an easy <laughs> uh, for lab to lab time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you do with a tuna kit that's all bashed up like that? You preserve it in ethanol. Okay. It depends what kind of, so the preservation we use in the lab depends on what the scientist who's going to further process it on land is going to use it for. Um, normally what we've done is we've used ethanol, 95% ethanol. We also use formalin. Um, we also <laughs> just dry it, freeze dry it or leave it to dry. In the case of some corals mm. and rocks are always dried. Uh, yeah, and maybe Paula can add more to that. Yeah, well, some some animals are fixed in formalin or part of the animal because the formalin is uh, the pr ideal preservation for for morphological studies because the eth ethanol uh, sometimes can um, dry the tissues and it can we we can have the animals very rigid and it's that's not ideal to study morphology and, and the anatomy of the animals. And I yeah, that's pretty much. Yeah. I remember when we had like a bunch of sponge bits, you guys measured them, like you put them all in that little measuring tub and measured like each little bit and then put them all together in the, I don't remember if it in was in the jar, the, the jar, or the, or the a bags. plastic bag. We also use RNA later for RNA analysis. So that's genetics work as well. We are also getting a snips of some samples. Oh, look, this is um, a scalpel lid. Did you want to zoom on it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, please. You know what I'd use the tuna kits for? What do you use the tunicates for? To make tuna. Uh, I use it to stop heavy bleeds. Um, the tuna <laughs> joke, I was really cl I was in the middle of drinking water and it was close to being a spit take, but it so is this wasn't a baby quite sponge? funny enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so baby, wasn't baby quite sponge. funny enough. That's, that's funny. I think there's All right, a black coral above it. We've seen a lot of anemones. That's yeah. true. Mm -hmm. I think this is the most Venus flytraps we've seen on a dive. Maybe they're just standing out more. I've been like writing down like the common things we've been seeing on each dive. Um, and I did write down Venus flytraps for this one. We got a sponge off in the distance. I know, is that a big sponge out in the distance? Bleach, like, yeah. A little ominous on the horizon there. <laughs> I think of it more as a welcoming, <coughs> welcoming to biology. <laughs> Thank you. Might this be a cliff? Ooh. Ooh. Could you tell from the sonar? Mm, kind of hard to tell, actually, if it rolls over or if it's a straight drop. Is that a decapitated sponge? Ichabod. I think it's a trade of I think it rolls over. That's Michael's term. Faraday. Faraday. Maybe Aspidas <coughs> Cupulia or Farea. Did someone say Faraday? Faraday. Yes. <laughs> That's another one off in the distance of something. It's beautiful. Off in, off in there. Those are so cool. Can we get a zoom, please? What's the associate? Shrimp? Oh, no, this is... Squatty? No, it's an isopod. Oh, this one's oh, yeah. Oh, it is, Can, yeah. can we try to get this? Come or? wide, please. Do you want to slurp it? Yes, slurp if it. it's possible. Uh, yeah, we got to be fast, but it's fine. Um, let's see here. Oof, how am I going to do this?
maybe, like that. Uh, is it going to swim away? Uh, yes. All right, maybe I'll do it then. Preparing the slurp. Okay, Whoop. Slurp don't plow two, over please. the sponge, do not do it. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh -huh. <laughs> Am I going to stay still? Probably not. It's fine. <clears throat> All right, can I get a zoom in, please? Okay, let's do 60%, please. 60% slurp. Do you think this one's bigger than the other one? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, full so wide, good. please. Oh, there it goes. Here we go. Thank you. It's in there? Yep. yep. This is a cedolanid isopod. I turn cool? the slurp off? Roger. So, can you not use the thrusters when you're using the slurp? Ah, uh, sometimes you can, sometimes you cannot, and but you have to use the thrusters to land. So, there's also that Data was the aspect. Did sample number again? This is sample number one four seven. One four seven. Thank you. Is it because of the power distribution? Yeah, the power distribution usually. Whoops, that was wrong. Uh, let me come back to that question. Yeah. Um, well, actually, I'll keep this over here. So, watch this. So, blue button off. You see when I turn it off, the jaws came open? This is for you. Mm -hmm. Jaws came open, then I'll press the blue button again. Jaws open wide. Okay, mm -hmm. sure. Uh, so, it's halted right now. The blue button's on. If you hold this down while you press the blue button, keeps the jaws closed. The jaws button? The jaws button. And then same when you turn it on, you hold that down. Even though it's halted, you hold that down and you press this button, it comes up with the jaws closed. Okay. There's no sense to it. it doesn't make any sense, but All right. it works that way. Well, good to know. Okay, I gotta go not this way. I mean, that Ooh. was good though. You're going in the going direction. I mean, yeah. I'm trying to follow the contour and it disappeared on me. <laughs> So we're gonna we go down doing? slope a bit here. Okay. Um, um, yeah, it's gonna be a fun time to get set up. Here. Nav. Oh. Oh. <laughs> e. I'm gonna. Yeah, you're turning around. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying. You Roger. can come down on Delta. Coming down on Delta. Bridge. No. Please guys do same, same, same. Thanks. There it is. There what is? Argus. Oh. You mean Atalanta? You mean yeah, Atalanta. It'd be wild if we saw Argus. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here, Argus? <laughs> Snuck up on me. <laughs> Just Argus in its natural habitat. <laughs> in the wild. Disconnected on the bottom? <laughs> on vacation. <laughs> Alone. <laughs> Alone. No, so sad. Well, that was a good swell. Well, it seems like Argus is always attached to something else, so maybe it needs some time away. Yeah. That's true. Maybe it just needs some time for itself. Yep. Are we in the saddle now? Pretty much. Yeah. You've never been closer. <laughs> 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 You're not wrong. So we were suspecting this to be all soft yep. sediment. This is what we're looking for. But there's a lot of nuggets there, yeah. right? There may be some nuggets here. What is all the speckles? It could be nuggets, could be just small bits of rock too. Are they not the same thing? Yes and no. I mean, some of the scoops we did on earlier sea moths were just chunks of rock. Not really. Not manganese rock? Just yeah. 
I'm confused. So am I. Okay, I'm trying to manifest a big Salambalula. That would be great. That would be so cool. Someone didn't didn't they see it like closer to the atoll? Mm -hmm. Just soft rocks, not welded. Yeah, this is just little mini nuggets or stuff on the sediment surface here. So they are nuggets. Well, they're nuggety. Nugget. I mean, the, the other ones we looked at were like nice, nice size ones. Nodular nuggety. I'm, I give Nodular up trying. nuggety. To understand the nuggets. I give up trying. <laughs> <laughs> is this something over here? A sponge? Yeah. Let's zoom on the sponges. Yeah, this is a nugget field. You're right. Thank you. It's just we're a little higher, but these do look a little smaller. Yeah, it is a sponge. Yeah, bouncy. It has like a ring around it, kind of. Oh. Or there's not as much sediment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, come wide, please. Thank you. <coughs> oh, yeah, look at that shot of Herc. Oh, no. oh yeah. Disturbing the <laughs> showing off my messy takeoff. Get away. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't me. Yeah. What's this? Oh rock. Nav, can you hear me? Yes, go ahead, please. How far from waypoint five are we? Um we are about two eighteen meters away. Thank you. You're welcome. Something sticking up in the Atalanta, Atalanta yeah. Looks oh, like a sponge. Yeah, looks like a sponge. Yeah, sponge. sponge. We don't need no stinking sponge. We don't need no stinking sponge. Another sponge below us. Gone. Any current here, Trevor? Mm, no. Yes, but no. Yeah, okay. Where is everybody? We're still in like a kind of micro saddle. This is more of a basin, pre saddle basin. So I think once we get over that, we'll get to the saddle itself. It'll be way better for sure, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> I'm tempted, I'm tempted, I'm tempted to come a bit south though. Like, just kind yeah, of you see the low point? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's up to the science row, totally. If they want to do that, we can... What do you want? I said, I'm, tem I'm tempted to come to the south though. Like, here, somewhere around here. Yeah, if you want, that's that's fine. I mean, well, it's up to... Yeah. Up to Paolo. No, yeah, totally. Okay. Let's do it. Ooh, another sponge. Another sponge. A bit wiggly. They are like very a small sponge. Those those sponge maybe are different. Do you think it would be worth it to collect? Yeah, maybe. I mean, because they have it. In case they you are. You want to collect it? Yeah. Okay. Well, you can see there's oh, a, a line here I too, was say, oh, some sort. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, you want to get the arm out? Me? You want to you do this? I think yeah, I want to try. For enough. Enough ahead. Is this a snip and slurp or is this a uh, put in box? Uh, though these are like very fragile, so put in box. Maybe yeah. Put in box, Roger. Could we get a nice zoom on it? Either yeah, you betcha. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Uh, that's not. That's and not it is great. neat. Looks like the rocks are a little cleaner oh, around there too. There we go again. There you go again. Oop. Is this okay or do you? Want Porch. No, that's good. Yeah, you can get the arm out. All right. So do you think that little line of darker rock could oh. be from like I totally a forgot sand about it. That's fine. I'm not sure what that is. If it's a a structural underneath. So once you get the arm close, we'll get a zoom before we snip it. Oh. 
what's all that about? Get So of course you're gonna want blades on the bottom. There we go. And when you're ready, let's have a have a call for a zoom. Wait till you get set up first. I am not ready. Yeah. That's looking better, yeah, nice. Definitely seeing it. You're knowing what you need to do, and sometimes it takes you a bit to get there, but you know what you need to do, and that's more okay. than half the battle. I think I'm ready for the zoom. Lovely. Thank you. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Eh. Well done. Mm. All right. In forward bio box Omega, please. So Omega's on the right side. Once you get close, nothing in there yet, is that correct? Nothing's in there. Okay, so I already have the camera racked Are we back. on the starboard or in the front bio box? We're going to the front okay. bio box, and we're going to go the right side. The right so side. That's the arm side. Sorry, that's Omega. Omega, thank you. There's some nodules in the... <laughs> and just open the jaws a little bit. Don't open them the full way, because this is where it gets too scratchy. You're still safe there, but just as a good habit. Okay. Oh boy. It's <laughs> alright. So you just open them just slightly, exactly, and then keep just try to see if you can hover them open a little bit. Yeah, right there, perfect. Now you can get nice. out of there. Lovely, nice job. Paul is clapping and dancing well back here. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, hanging out with his nugget buddies. With a wall between them. <laughs> Those nuggets are amazing, huh? Nuggets feel. Those are the ones they grab just with the claw. They try to leave yeah. the jaws spun so they're oh. 90 degrees out from there. So if we forget to close the jaws on startup, then it doesn't bash into the hydraulic ram. Dang. So I'm going to study. Where's that wrist joint? Now. There it is. And they're off. Uh, like that? Is your kid's scrum moving? Yep. Yes. Bridge now. Can we please do five zero meters bearing one three five degrees point three knots? Oh, I thought that was something, but it was just the reflection. Yeah, I know. I was doing the same thing. Roger. Thank you. Let's see what happens <laughs> at the low points. there. Chat says, yes, more legendary work from Annabelle. Oh. Do the nuggets feel, um, support your hypothesis of the fracture, or? No, I, I, it may not be related to that. I was just expecting to see in this flat area to be a bunch of uh, nuggets. Nuggets, <laughs> just micro nuggets. Yeah, lovely, you're already coming down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. What's this track all about here? Yeah, there are there are few of them. Maybe. Oh, look at that. That one's Thuria. deep. For a worm. But there's a lot of nuggets here for worms. No. Worm nuggets. <laughs> Can we do a groove zoom, please? Looks like cleaned off sediment. I, I said the number 23. <laughs> I see a, like a cartoon man. Oh my gosh, it's the cribbage board. 
<laughs> All right, thank Interesting. you. Yeah, I think we'll wait for the uh, the next wash to get a scoop because I think it's going to continue and they can get a little more practice with it. <laughs> is that is something? Is this? I love these are some of the uh, the beaked whale divots that they're oh, doing. Oh, the beaked whale divots. Is the scoop always kept in starboard F? Look, no, no, there is a holothurium okay. here, so maybe those tracks are. Yeah. What's that white thing that the lasers are right above? Could be sediment, could be anything. Let's uh -huh. zoom in the holothurium. There's a holothurium there. Holothurium. Is he big? Is he it big? a pig? It's oh, a piggy. Oh. Gotta keep going, sorry. I bonked. And then we're coming to this white thing right here. Oh, it's zoom in. Sand, it's just sand. Yeah, it is just sand. Yeah. Maybe it's pig poop. Okay, thank you. Come wide. Oh, we got a spongy, spongy thing over here. An Atlanta cam looks like uh, you're like riding a dune buggy or something. <laughs> what are you trying to say, man? No, <laughs> it's like spinning this way, going, yeah. kicking yeah. up dust. I'm kidding. Chat asks, have you guys ever discovered a new species on one of your expeditions? Boy, have we. Boy, <laughs> have we. We're constantly discovering new species. Oh, that's the thing about the deep sea. There's so much that's unexplored that it's very common to come across an unidentified species. Uh, that's a weird line. and Yeah, very linear. I hope to find a new bacterial species at some yeah, point. Yeah, look at that. Oh, That'd be cool. Wow. Oh, no. <laughs> Death storm. Shrimp. Shrimp? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's a big boy or Ooh, girl or they them. Big shrimp. Oh. Yeah, hey, I should Trevor, probably go the pulling. right way. Oh, I'm definitely pulling, yeah. This track is weird, right? Yeah. It's really weird. Could that be a beaked whale scoop? <coughs> a long scoop? I don't Ooh. know what it is. It could be related to the structure underneath. There's some sort of uh, dislocation. It almost looks like someone moved, moved it off to the side, then I get off to the side and line. If I was a beak dwell, I would not want to be scooping here. No, I, I wouldn't either. A mouthful, mouthful of, of rocks. nodules. <laughs> Gotta clean their teeth somehow. How, do, how deep do they dive? I thought I read like 10,000. We're at 2,500. Yeah, I don't think it's that deep. It's a long time. 3,000 meters. That's the same holothorium we yeah, already looked at. Yeah, it is. Same, uh, uh, it's the same one. Same, same one. I've already been there. <laughs> <laughs> nice figure eight. Yeah. Infinity, actually. Infinity. Yeah. yeah, we're just going in circles right now. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the ship and board. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Put a few you, wraps in the tether. <laughs> did you hear Ready for um, handover? Yeah. the beak whales can go 3,000 meters? 3,000 meters. Yeah, so 10,000 feet. Oh, I heard, I heard 2,000. Oh, I'm sorry. And I yeah. thought that meant meters. No, 10,000. 10, 3,000 10, meters. Wow. Another one? Yeah. I think it's, it's the same one. This is a different one now. Oh. <laughs> it's just this yeah, one it's, sea it's pig. One, How yeah. long can they hold their breath for? The sea pig? <laughs> no, the <laughs> whales? <Bleach nub. laughs> yeah, the whales, yeah. I guess two hours, the sperm whale, same, same. Or, or something like that, right? Really? Wow. Are they faster than Herc? I hope they're faster yeah. than Herc. <laughs> I think the the whale that goes deep deeper in the ocean is the sperm whale. 
Okay. Um, because, this says... because they eat squids. Well, the, the sperm whale is also about 3,000 meters, so they're about the same as the beaked whale. Nice. Um, and it says that a curved beak whale can take dives for 138 minutes. Just over two hours, so that's incredible. Two hours, yeah. I would love to Amazing. be able to survive underwater what for that, that long water? without a breath. Yeah, it looks nice. It would be so cool to swim. The that stick or the white like thing? There's yeah. a stick. It's sticking up. Go fetch her. There are people who hold the breath for 15 minutes. Yeah, you can train the yeah. free divers. It's insane what they can do. What is this? Spongy debris. Last few rounds. Well, that's way a ways. Can you zoom, please? I'm guessing spongy debris. No idea how it got down there. Manganese encrusted there. spongy debris. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Thank you. Do you think fi like bigger fish or something carry them around like sticks and then drop them somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> like dogs? So I have a question for the regulars, the repeat Nautilus folks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's not that not hard of a question. I, I just want to know if hamburgers are repeated every Friday, because so far we've had hamburgers on Fridays twice in a row, I think. And therefore, I have something to look forward to this Friday. I don't know the answer to that. Depends on the cook staff. They, uh, different, different groups of cooks do different menus. Uh, it's been fairly dependable the last couple of legs. Okay. Well, I hope so. Yeah, we'll hope so. How many cruises have you done on here, Dave? I've uh, been on since 2016 and at least two a season, but the last <coughs> three seasons, much more. So. What do you think? 10 or 40? Uh, in the middle of there somewhere. It's on the website. I, I looked uh, at my bio. They don't count shakedowns on the website. They don't? Oh, you can cool. add a couple there if yeah. you know those. Can we zoom on this thing, please? This is my 32nd Nautilus cruise. Whoa. 30 wow. Seconds. When? What year did you start? Wow. 2016. Wow. Impressive. There's like a little thing behind it. Anybody? Little thing behind it. I'm so bouncy. Sorry, Dave. Uh, come out a little bit. What's the little thing behind it? There oh, that is. little thing. What is that thing? Yeah. I'm still going to be bouncy, but... The shiny thing or the little growy thing? Oh, little growy thing. Right there. Like we've seen them Go ahead, around. zoom again, please. Is it a little urchin or something? Oh, that thing. I didn't see that thing. <laughs> uh, this is a cut coral. Oh, uh, cut and coral. I think we, in, we are collecting them. Okay, come wide, please. Steve. Uh, good eye to see that. You want to slurp it? Yes. Okay. Can you set up the slurp, please? Setting up the slurp, number three, please. You can please. do the set up the arm, too. Oh, okay. I'll do the buckets. Roger. Uh, can I bubble on craft, or do yeah, you want to? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if I can. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Trouble, trouble. <laughs> Winchman. How does this not gonna do better? Well, we'll oh, try yeah, it. it. <laughs> oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
it's a hard habit to get into. But it's fine. I forgot. Might be too close here. Yikes. It's not easy. Oh, it's right down there. Yeah. Do you want me to grab the slurp? Yep. I don't know how you guys see these things. With their <laughs> eyes. Using the, yeah, generally the eyes. My best tool. <coughs> Can you remind me which R you want? Number three, please. Number three. There's one. Oh. There's two. <laughs> There's but three. I'm so fast swimming around. <laughs> Can I get a zoom? Thank you. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Sometimes going in the wrong direction pays off. Yeah. <laughs> you betcha. That's, That's how I do it. There's no point in driving straight and waiting for the ship. You might okay. as well explore more ocean. I think ready? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Get nuggets. Okay, I think you got to go towards it a bit. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, it went right in. Come wide, please. <laughs> I didn't even get the bungee. Nice. Lovely. Lovely. I haven't seen it in the jar yet. Has anyone seen it in the jar? No. Hmm. <coughs> I'm just going to zero percent it and see if it falls down. And also drive. Eh. Eh. I'm going to 60 percent it. I think I see something coming out, <coughs> but it went back in. Coming out of what? Uh, the top of the jar, like it was about to fall down, but then it didn't. Oh, okay. Like it looked like a tentacle cool. or a polyp or something. Well, I'll zero it again and we'll see what happens. Yeah, I see something kind of sticking down maybe there. Yeah. This maybe it's like just off to the left. Right here. Cup coral, I think. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Maybe it's wedged horizontally. All right, uh, practice secured. Okay, thank you. All right, speed demon. Yeah, whoopsies. <laughs> yeah, and we'll start going back to waypoint five now, I think. Uh, okay. Do you want yeah. to do one more? No, let's go to waypoint five. Mm. Oh, what was that? Okay, sounds good. Okay, so are we happy with no more suction in this jar? We think it's in there and I can rotate it away, or what do you want to do? Um, yeah, you can. Okay. We think it's in the jar, the cup coral? I haven't been able to watch it at all, so I don't have an opinion. It doesn't look... Maybe one more try. All right. Yeah, something's in there. There's something in there when you... We see a little tentacle come down. When you down. put the suck on, I can't... It goes back up, but... Okay, the suck is off. And yeah, a little tentacle back comes down. down. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we happy? Yep. I will rotate way. Bridge now. <laughs> oh, empty <laughs> pod. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Can we please step five zero meters bearing seven five degrees, speed point three knot? Those jars always remind me of Gardens of the Galaxy version or volume two. Roger, thank you. All the animals in the. Yeah. Sounds like someone's breathing in my ear. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Quite something. <laughs> it was me after you, after you said something. I don't know if it was me before. <laughs> <laughs> I said, turn myself on mute. I was laughing so hard. I don't know why that got me. <laughs> Go the wrong way.
the exact opposite heading of what you just said? Is it this one? <laughs> <laughs> what? Is this the exact opposite of the heading you just no. said? No. <laughs> Come on. I know you are just doing <laughs> your thing. <laughs> You know, we're just being thorough. Absolutely. Well, I'm still flushing. That's why I got no hydraulicals. Ah. I'm not flushing anymore. Not much to see here. The sonar looks wild. Mm -hmm. Flatness. Mm -hmm. We're also spinning in circles. No, we're not doing. We're doing flip flops more than circles. Yeah, look the the same auditorium. <laughs> so <laughs> the ROV slalom. Oh. Take, take a left at the holothurian. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How low can you go? Little sponge. <coughs> Just try and keep me in view. Just try to cover as much ground as possible. Fastest pilot in the West. <laughs> <laughs> Like Tokyo drifting. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to cover ground. Get as much science done as possible, you know? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I'm like, is that a Brody that I just witnessed? Is it a what? You do a little Brody there? A Brody? A donut? I don't know what a Brody is, but I guess I did a donut. Who's Brody? Brody? I don't know who Brody is. <laughs> Somebody who did a legendary donut once upon a time. First oh. ever first ever donutter? Yeah, I mean I guess he's the he's the man who created the donut. I huh. sounds like a frat boy. <laughs> <laughs> Also, in the Adelinicum, it just looks like we're going in circles. <laughs> yeah, I like slalom. I think that was a good descriptor. You're getting some nice side shots of Herc. Yeah, you're doing a good job Atlanting. It's almost time to switch watches, though. Now that I put 14 wraps in the tether, it's perfect time for handover. <laughs> I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked back at the DVL. Yeah, I'm trying to cover a lot of ground, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just a lot of squiggles. What's he doing? What's he doing? Hi. <laughs> One second. I get an idea. Why don't I just okay. park it right here for a second? Oh. We can do a reset. Chat says. Right, yeah. I've been neglecting the chat. Chat says a Brody is a forward 180 or U turn sliding the rear. A donut is a spinning in three circles. Hmm. All right, we've definitely done one of those. Mm hmm. All, All right. right. Well, it's just about time to change over the watch chat. So it was nice chatting with you. Um, I see your question, Mom. It's clear for us, probably blurry for you because you have a bad internet connection sometimes. Um, all right, I'm handing it over to the 12 to 4. Uh, see you guys later. I'm trying to later. do a DVL reset. Yeah, I think flying around. I'm just going to do this. Good?
Let's go. Bridge now. Yeah, please let's do same, same, same. Uh, Roger. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, like just to keep it moving so that you guys can come in. Because we've been kind of weak. Sorry, let me. Just want to say hello to all of our listeners. The, this is your 12 to 4 watch, and we're just getting things set up, and we'll do some introductions in just a minute. 